Hey guys, welcome to the podcast. So, we're t- on this episode, we're going to be talking about these new kind of like futuristic masks. And this is my beautiful fiance. Hi. She is going to give her opinion on it. But yeah, so these new futuristic masks are really cool. So if we have to really wear masks for way longer than we should, then these are actually pretty cool. They light up um, when you breathe out. Um, it You're breathing out the hot air and you're breathing in cold air into there. So it's not fogging up the little mask. And it has like the speaker mic thing. So you don't sound all muffled when you talk. So that's a cool feature of the mask. And it just has a little cool LED light on the outside, so it just looks cool, too. So, <laughs> And I'm going to give my opinion on it, so let's see how it is and how I feel about it. So... <laughs> Man, like, everything, like, this is, this is dire need for them, and yet you're, you're it's not organized... It's kind of just like up in the air. No one really knows what's really going on with any of it. And it just it just ain't making no sense. Like at all. And I'm just like, come on. Like this is the same thing with, you know, the COVID tests and everything like that. It was so very disorganized. Right? And now we're kind of seeing the same exact thing. Right? We're seeing the same exact thing. But now with the actual vaccine. Of course, we're seeing the same exact thing with the vaccine now. Uh, I, I understand. I, I, I just don't. It's just, it's just very clueless to me. Very, very clueless to me. Like, for real. But let's go ahead and jump into the next one. Smart mask and pandemic gear. I saw this when I was listening to someone else's video or watching another video on YouTube. So this is pretty interesting. The annual Consumer Electronics Show offered a week-long showcase of the very latest in technology. Nancy Chen shows us some devices inspired by the pandemic. CES was virtual this year because of the pandemic. Welcome to CES 2021. And many of the products revealed were designed to protect against COVID-19. Introducing the Project Hazel, the world's smartest mask. Right now, Project Hazel is just a prototype. It's see-through with a voice amplifier, air ventilation, and even lighting. In the new normal. But another mask is on the market now. Introducing Mask Phone with built-in earbuds and microphone. The Mask Phone offers an N95 filter and sells for $50. Touchless products are also a trend, like this toilet from Kohler that flushes with a wave of a hand. Touchless was a big theme, and I think it will continue to be one, not just as we cope with the pandemic, but into the future. This touchless doorbell from Alarm.com activates when visitors step on the mat. Thanks, you can leave them right there. I'll be out in a minute. The pandemic hit the economy hard, and Samsung is now dropping the price of its latest smartphone $200 less than last year's version. The ultra version of the new Galaxy S21 comes with advanced cameras, delivering a better zoom on images far away and clearer close-ups. Thanks for watching. But the new phone trend could be rollable. Take care. LG gave consumers just a glimpse of a new device with a screen that can expand or retract. It's not just science fiction, though. It's actually going to release this year. It's rollable screen technology. Um, You know, it's really amazing what companies are able to do with display technology. TCL believes the technology could lead to devices that roll open. Right now, it's just an idea that could unfold in the future. Nancy Chen, CBS News, New York. Okay, okay. I saw the rollable phone too before uh, on that same video on a different episode of his or what and stuff. But we ain't talking about the phone. We ain't talking about the rollable, cool-looking LG phone. We ain't talking about that. We're talking about the mask. And uh, they didn't really. I mean, they explained a little bit. But when I was watching, I was like, man, I would, I would be. It would be dope to have that mask. Be able to not have any fog in there or whatever. Also. All the hot air goes out, cool air comes in. It has this like speaker type, like um, mic type thing where you, it, when you talk, it comes out very clear. To me, that's very dope. Seems so futuristic though, don't you think? It just seems so futuristic. And we're just like, okay, okay, this is pretty cool. I like what's going on here, right? It's really, really dope. So with that being said, right, man. Let's let's really like let's really get into this. 
right? Let's like roll this out. And like, I don't know how long this mask thing is supposed to be, but I know I heard that it's, uh, there's rumors or, like it's gonna be a for everything. Maybe it's just until like the vaccine sh stuff is like over. I don't, I really don't know, but like, still, like. Let's get rid of it. Like, we don't need these masks. I'm, well, maybe we probably do, actually. But I don't, nobody likes the mask, bro. Like, that's really dope. I like that. I like that. <clears throat> Yeah, so we could only see where everything's going from here, right? You know, this whole mask thing is just kind of, it's just, it's just. It's just like kind of, it's just like crazy to me. Like very, very crazy to me. And, you know, that's the crazy part. It's just, it's just like, oh, okay. You know, all this craziness, all this stuff, right? Hey guys, so as far as this mask, I think it's really cool. Like, since we're going to be wearing masks for some time and it's like the new, you know, normal, I think it's um, pretty cool. Like, they're trying to make it, you know, nice for everybody. And I know people don't like wearing them and stuff, but we're going to have to for a while. So I, I'm for it. I think it's pretty cool. So, you know, people... Don't like it i know it's hard to wear especially at work and at school you know doing stuff but i think it's really nice and i'm for it i think it's really cool so